Hi, Emma Hill here, welcome. I just thought I'd come on to um, say hello. It's been a long time since I've been on video and I thought I'd take the opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, although it's not getting any easier in how many takes I'm having to actually, <laughs> actually go through. Anyway, let's persevere. So I haven't been painting for nearly a year. In fact, I've done one painting and that's this one here. And it's, you know, I'm happy with it now, but it took a long time. A lot of angst, difficulties, space in time where I've painted over. So there's so many rich layers and different things going on in there. And I guess what I'm wanting to do now then is I'm wanting to share with you my journey in how I'm going to find my, my way really in painting, my way back and also my way into finding something new. Um, it's, it's not that I haven't, that I've got an artist block as such. I think what's happened is where I haven't been painting, it's almost switched where I have been creative in other ways. I've been doing a, a podcast, which has been a real eye opener for me. And it's called, some of you may have listened to it already. It's called Art Seeker Stories. And it's about sharing stories, creative and inspirational conversations, really. And it's, um, so it's an artist residency on Art Seeker Island. And I invite, I invite artists to share their stories and they also are to take three other artists artwork with them for company. And there's a mascot called Luffy and she asked them to bring a book. So there's so many different avenues that or things that come at a light within the conversation, but which is directed towards the artists themselves. So we get a real nitty gritty sort of look at um, the artist who's come, who's come on. And I think what I like so much about it is really, it's a, it's a big collaboration really, because the artists themselves bring so much because they are, as it's imaginary, is their imagination of what Ark Seeker Island looks like, but it's also the, how it sort of underlines through the, my original idea and they come and describe this exhibition that they're creating in their mind. And because it's in your mind, it can be crazy and use your imagination and just go wild. And it, you know, it's great fun. But what's also really humbling and amazing is from that, they've introduced me to other artists and influences and experiences. And it's, you know, it's, it's really, it's really amazing. And I, I can't, it's a really important part of my journey. And I think, whereas um, in the past where I was traveling the world looking at art, I think this has brought on another side where I'm lucky to be um, almost traveling inside the mind of other artists. And that's more exciting even. So that's, the, my background. So now I'm wanting to step away and get back into my painting. So I just thought it would be fun to show you the journey. As I know already, there's going to be huge ups and downs and lots of bad art, but then that's not necessarily a bad thing because you can only move forward with that. And at the minute, it's not about making artwork. It's more about making or it's making an inquiry and finding out who I am, who, what I like, what I want to do, and just experimenting and being brave and diving into the unknown. So I look forward to share more of it um, next week. So I hope you tune in. Until then, thanks for listening and goodbye.